Recently, someone wanted to know, what do I bake the most? And after thinking about it, I realized it's chocolate chip cookies. I have three very good reasons why I make chocolate chip cookies so much. One is they're simple and easy. I can make them in a snack if I have all the ingredients. Two, they contain my favorite ingredient you all know, which is chocolate. And three, they go perfect with an ice cold glass of milk. Now, I've already posted my chocolate chip cookie recipe. So today, I'm gonna give you my extra special chocolate, chocolate chip cookie recipe right here on The Sweet Spot. The first step to making our chocolate, chocolate chip cookies, we're gonna pre-mix our flour with our dry ingredients. The reason I'm doing this is because so that my cocoa powder fully incorporates into the cookies and they each get that same amount of chocolate flavor. So starting with my bowl of flour, let's add our cocoa powder. We're gonna go ahead and throw in that instant coffee right into the mix. This is optional, but coffee brings out that chocolate flavor and makes it sing. So I encourage you to keep it in. Wants to stick, but we're gonna get that in there anyway. Then we're gonna take our baking soda and our salt. Also by pre-mixing all of our dry ingredients, it's gonna be easy to incorporate because once I get all that cookie dough started, I just have to add one batch of my dry ingredients. I don't have to layer them in. So we're just gonna whisk this until it's all combined, just slowly making sure I get even distribution throughout. All right, that's all mixed together, so we're gonna set this aside because we're gonna add that in a little bit later. It's time to start making our batter. So I have my butter. I'm gonna bring both of my brown and granulated sugars over. We're gonna add our cup of butter to a bowl, which is two sticks. And just put those sticks right into the bowl. And we're gonna go ahead and add both sugars. So our granulated sugar. all of it in there, and our brown sugar. It's up to you, you can use light or brown sugar. I'm using light brown sugar. It won't adjust the recipe at all. It's just a preference in this recipe. So we're gonna mix that on medium until my butter and sugar are creamed together. They're gonna form a coarse crumble. So my butter and sugar is creamed together. I've scraped down the size of my bowl. It's time to add in my eggs. So we're gonna add in both eggs together. And we're gonna mix that on medium until those eggs are fully combined. Okay, so my eggs are all mixed in. I'm gonna scrape down the sides of my bowl. Just make sure that's all in there and together. Scrape it off my paddle. And now let's add the remaining ingredients. So we're gonna add in our vanilla extract and our corn syrup. And you may need to get your spatula to get that out. That corn syrup is so thick, it won't naturally flow. So we're gonna encourage it out of there for a little bit. And we're gonna mix this on medium before we start adding in our dry ingredients. So it's time to start adding in our dry ingredients. So I'm just gonna take my bowl of flour here, my flour mixture, and just pour it all into my mixer. Get it all in there. And then I'm gonna start on low and work my way up to medium just so my flour doesn't fly everywhere. And then you're gonna mix this until it's nice and combined and you have a nice cookie batter or dough. <laughs> so all of my dry ingredients have incorporated into my batter. I have a nice chocolate cookie base. It's time to add all of those chocolate chips in. And we're gonna mix those in until they get nice and even. You may have to scrape down the bowl in between 
because the cookie dough is getting much thicker. So, but you wanna make sure those chocolate chips are evenly distributed. So this next ingredient is optional. I like a little texture in my cookie. I like a little crunch. So I am going to add pecans. You do not have to add pecans into your cookie dough, but I'm telling you, you're gonna want to because it tastes amazing. So I'm gonna add these in. One final mix and then our dough or cookie batter is ready. The last step prior to baking is to let the dough chill for at least an hour in the refrigerator. So we're gonna transfer this into a bowl. Oh, look at that dough, that chocolate dough. I'm gonna scrape everything off the bottom, get it into this bowl and let it chill. And the reason we want it to chill is because the butter has softened from working it. We want this to chill so that when we scoop out our cookies and we put them in the oven, that butter is nice and cold so they fluff up instead of flatten out and getting too like runny. They'll create this nice fluffy cookie. So we're gonna wrap these up and get them in the refrigerator. My cookie dough has spent an hour chilling in the refrigerator. So now it's time to bake. I've preheated my oven to 350 degrees. I have a tablespoon ice cream scooper here and I'm just gonna scoop them out and lay them onto my cookie dish. So just going into, they're gonna be a little firm because remember they've been sitting in the refrigerator. I'm just getting my scoop and just plop it down onto my cookie sheet. And let's do another one here and just space them up a few inches because you wanna give them room to spread. All right, get our last scoop on there. All right, so we're gonna put these in the oven for about eight minutes. You wanna check them just to make sure that they're spreading evenly and getting nice and crisp. I like to squish mine down in the center. I like more of a round cookie. It just helps them spread out. It's totally up to you. Also, just a note, depending on the size of your ice cream scoop is the size of your cookie. If you use a tablespoon size, you're gonna get a smaller cookie. If you use just a traditional ice cream scoop, like a big heaping scoop, you'll get these larger cookies. Also, we're gonna bake these for about 12 to 15 minutes. Just gauge them. They're dark, they have cocoa powder, so you won't be able to see them get that golden brown like a traditional cookie. I kind of press and see how firm it's getting that nice crust on the outside. If they are still too kind of wiggly or too soft, they're not quite ready. When they start to firm up, they're just about done. But set your timer for 12 to 15 minutes. Thank you all for joining me right here on the sweet spot. Oh, I can't wait for you to make this recipe. These cookies are so good. Oh my God. Click like, hit subscribe, come back and see me right here on the sweet spot. Mm.